Hello, it's great to be back with another character education video. My name is Corey, and I'm excited to be here with you again. This is my co-host, Chef Boyardi. Come on, man. Uh, I mean, his actual name is Shannon, and I'm really hoping that you have a good explanation to why you're dressed like America's top chef. <laughs> you can make all the jokes you want, Corey, but it's not going to bother me because, you see, I have volunteered to make the rolls for the Thanksgiving dinner down at the shelter downtown this year. You. Yeah. Making the rolls. Yes. <laughs> for the people down at the shelter? Once again, that is correct. To eat? Yes, of course to eat, Corey. <laughs> Why is it so hard to believe? Need I remind you of what happened the last time you cooked? You made that special tuna <sighs> casserole for the 4th of July potluck. It, it wasn't that bad. It was legendary. The newspaper reporters said that they hadn't seen that much throw up since the tilt -a wheel malfunctioned in 97. <laughs> this is going to be different. See, I'm using my great grandma Edna's roll recipe. Here's a picture of her on Mother's Day one year. Whoa, are you sure that's not a picture of your grandpa? No, 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 no. He's not nearly as pretty as Edna is. But anyhow, her recipe's been handed down for generations, and, I, and I'm using it to make the rolls, but I don't have to take them to the shelter till next week, so I thought I'd bring some samples here for everybody to try today. Run for your lives! What'd you say? I uh, give me a high five! Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, well, let's, let's get to the definition, yes, and then we'll do that, whatever the bread thing is. All right, sounds good. I, I guess good things come to those who wait. Okay, well, will you help me out with the definition? Repeat it, it after me. Let's do the drum roll. Let's help me it. out, drum roll, please. We go in one, two, three. Service. Service. Is lending a hand. Lending a hand. To help someone else. To help someone else. And now, everyone who can't wait to try Great Grandma Edna's roll, say it with me. Service. Service. Is lending a hand. Is lending a hand. To help someone else. To help someone else. I couldn't quite hear you, but I was probably just extra loud because I'm so excited. So, oh, 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 hey, that's the timer. That means the rolls are done. Corey, will you do me a favor and um, go get Great Grandma's rolls for me? Thank you. While Corey is out, uh, here we go. I wanted to show you guys the delicious morsels that go into this recipe. See, um, I didn't have all the ingredients that were needed, but it shouldn't make a difference. But I had to make a few substitutions. Anyhow, here we go. First of all, the recipe called for vegetable oil. I, I didn't have any, so I substituted this oil. That's right, Quaker State motor oil. I figured oil's oil, right? Besides, it has the word Quaker on it, so I thought that it had a kind of old-timey feel. So anyhow, let's see. So for flour, for flour, I had to use these. I know what you're thinking. I thought about using roses or chrysanthemums, but yeah, anyhow, what do you guys think? Yeah, what's the difference? It doesn't matter. So finally, the recipe called for cornstarch. Again, I didn't have any cornstarch, so I found this. That's right, popcorn and Sunkist. S Sunkiss starch. See, anyhow, it works. Trust me. Hey, Corey. Well, Shannon, I must say these rules kind of look pretty good. Thanks, man. But what is all of this? Oh, I was just going over with the kids the ingredients for the rolls with the audience, and I explained that I had to make some substitutions, but um, nobody's going to notice the difference. Don't worry. Yeah? <laughs> um, were you planning on building a house? What are you talking about? Shannon, these rules, they're... And what are these lines on the bottom? Where did you cook these? I, on my grill, of course. That's where I cook everything. <sighs> okay. Well, we're probably going to have to take these to the Department of Transportation so they can fill in some potholes on the road. They are not that bad. Just add a little butter to them. They'll soften right up. Besides, man, if I can sell these things for a dollar a piece at the shelter, I'm going to get I'm going to make like 50 bucks. That is some good cash, Corey. You were planning on selling these hockey puck I mean rolls. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's like the definition of service says. I'm lending a hand to someone in need. The people at the shelter are hungry, so I'm going to work hard with my hands to meet that need, and then I'll collect some money for my work. Well, Shannon, the kind of service we're talking about this month is the service where you lend a hand to those in need for free. Actually, it might cost you some money, and when you're serving others, it takes a lot of hard work. <laughs> That is crazy! What am I supposed to do with the rolls that I baked today? Am I supposed to just give them away? No, absolutely exactly. not. Exactly. Good. I don't think you should give them away. I think you should throw them away. Actually, let's go backstage and take care of these. 
and maybe we'll learn a little more about service with the videos. All right.